the point is to get a return on capital to ordinary people instead of just them on labor, uh, just making a living on labor. So there are various ways you can do this. From what Nicholas has said to mutual funds, to platform cooperatives. Um, uh, in California, our governor's called for a data dividend that everyone should get a share of uh, the value of the data, which is used by the big data companies. Um, how do you do that? We're working on that in California. Uh, in terms of taxation, for example, you raised, I mean, there, there are various ways you could deal with this. So for example, one proposal now that's being discussed in California is, uh, is uh, as, as a uh, condition of registering your startup in California, you would have to transfer 5%, 10%, whatever, five, between 5, five and 10% of your equity to a sovereign wealth fund for the benefit of the whole state. Mm -hmm. uh, in lieu of that, you would get a tax break. So the idea there is you're not, you're not taking an existing company that's worth a lot and taking things that they've created. You're going there at the outset um, to, uh, to capture some of the potential growth of that company in lieu of a, of a tax break for them, which could grow enormously over the years. So had that happened with Google uh, 15 years ago, whenever Google was founded, uh, a state sovereign wealth fund that could be used for public higher education or to pay dividends to citizens would be in the, uh, in, in the hundreds, of, well, hundreds of millions, high hundreds of millions of dollars. 